Many thanks to Jerb, Jaren, DZ Podcast, Taggy's Tag West, and that one random for making this video possible. DZ 1.13 has been released to stable on the 13th of July by adding 13 features in the game. It's going to be a lucky patch. The M16 has been added as the first free shot burst fire weapon but only allows the muzzle attachment. Metal suppressors become ruined in fewer shots than in 1.12, here are the numbers. All optics increase your accuracy 10 times more now, have one attached to greatly increase your accuracy even when you use iron sights. Attaching an optic to the Vega or a mini sights to the BK-133 does not reduce the spread of buckshot. You now need to disinfect anything you use to stop your bleeding and you need to do it with these three to stop wound infection from killing you. Bandages now spawn as disinfected as standard but rags and the sewing kit does not. Disinfected items lose their disinfected status when they take damage, check that they're still disinfected before you use them. If you get wound infection you will die unless you use tetracycline or use these three disinfectants within the first 20 minutes of getting wound infection. You can now block all infected attacks from in front of you at 60 degree angle and they attack 25% slower and take 40% extra damage to their heads now. There are three tiers of infected now, low tier on the coast and in spawn towns, medium tier inland and high tier at military areas. The higher you go in the tiers, the more health and the damage that these infected do, with some of them having special abilities and even items. The plate carrier has had a slight nerf and it's no longer beneficial to shoot the legs of a player instead of shooting the plate carrier. Shooting the plate carrier, for example, does more shock damage because legs no longer take additional shock damage when you break them. The plate carrier will now require 75% of a leather sewing kit to repair just one quality level instead of 25% in the last patch, but epoxy putty now repairs Vest. The plate carrier absorbs the same amount of damage with or without patches or with the holster or a pistol in the holster or items in the pouch, it's all the same. The screwdriver and the lockpick can be used to disarm landmines but it will ruin the landmine and make it disappear in the process. Once activated and this key gets removed, a landmine cannot be picked up, reused or moved using any method currently in the game. If your vehicle triggers a landmine, all passengers inside will go unconscious for 50 seconds regardless of their armour. When driving a V3S, using the 4th gear will accelerate it much faster than using 1, 2, 3 and 4 and also requires less gear changes. Both bullets from a Blaze double shot will follow near the exact same path, making the Blaze the best long range sniper for burst damage. The PET bottle holds the exact same amount of water as the canteen and both hold half that of the cooking pot. It's not possible to disinfect rags or the sewing kit by boiling them in a cooking pot or placing them in the fire. It's now possible to remove seeds from the garden plot but only before you water them. If your matches become damp you won't even get the option to light fires now so you need to use a hand drill or a lighter instead which both work when damp. You can still light fireplaces in the rain by standing on them to block the rain but when they become wet now they will go out on their own. The torso size of a player has changed from this to this meaning it's much easier to do extra damage to players now. The Giddy Gun Wrap now weighs a huge 1 kilogram less at 500 grams now instead of 1.5 kilograms. Running over Infected is a great way to clear out an area you don't even need to drive fast. Infected can't attack you while in a car but wolves and bears can even in the V3S. If you go unconscious in a car you will drop anything that's in your hands when you get inside the car so don't get into vehicles with stuff in your hands. Bonus tap. If a bear ever starts to charge towards you and you don't have a gun, lay down on the floor and assume the fetal position and begin crying. This patch is focused on infected having more variety and a new way to die through wound infection which makes the environment more deadly but we've also seen improvements to PvP with how powerful weapon attachments are now and the addition of more military grade gear while making stronger gear harder to get and harder to maintain. There's plenty more to learn about patch 1.13 and to help you get up to speed here are 4 videos I've created for this patch to help you adjust to the changes, links below. Thank you very much for watching and have a good patch.